Uh, hello everyone, this is Gaurav. In this session, we are going to talk about NAT. So first of all, what is exactly NAT and how it exactly works so that we are going to talk about this in this session. So we are already aware about NAT. NAT stands for the Network Address Translation. That is a very important concept in our networking. So what is exactly NAT? So I'm not going, uh, going with very deep dive. I'm just giving with a small introduction about the NAT, why it came to the picture and why we need NAT. So that's why I'm going to explain here in this picture. So let's get started. So first of all, what is NAT? NAT stands for the Network Address Translation. So what exactly NAT we need to use? NAT is a method of translation private IP address into the public IP address. Okay. So we already know about private IP address that we are using in the free of cost. We don't need to register from any another person or not need any kind of the ISP for this registration because it's completely free of cost. Anybody can use it. Even I'm using the same IP address, you can use the same IP address because it's a free of cost IP address. We are using, we are talking about the private IP address. If I'm talking about public IP address, so what is public IP address? Public IP address is globally unique that we have to register with the help of ISP from INA company. So after registration, this unique IP address will be yours. Nobody can use this IP address because this is the public IP address. You are paying for this, paying a huge amount of this public IP address. It's very like, it's not easy to get because we have to give them valid reason why we need to, we are, we are going to buy this public IP address. So suppose that if you are, if you are having public IP address, many of the companies, MSC companies or those companies who is running the multiple application, who is running by the public like means suppose that if I have some application I just want publicly this application people will use this application as per the choice so in this situation I cannot give them access to my internal network so I, I will draw some diagram I will explain how and why I am talking about this so first of all just uh, I will give the small example here just consider Just consider, I have one LAN network. This is just consider, this is ABC company. ABC's company having one LAN network. Inside LAN network, they are using the private IP address. As I told you, private IP address is completely free of IP address. We don't need to pay anything to anyone. So we are using private IP address here. Just consider, I am using 1.1. Sorry, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4. Uh, so just consider this network 192.168.1.0 this network I am using okay so my LAN network is connected to my router and my router is connected to the service provider this is my ISP just consider here is another company the company name is XYZ so here is one LAN network even there is the same IP address network 192.168.1.0 it it uh, might be same because it's a free up free of course ip address anybody anybody can use it so they are using 192.168.1.1 sorry about my handwriting my handwriting is not that much good 1.2 1.3 and 1.4 so now you can see here both sides there is the same network even this router is connected to the service provider now what happened suppose that service provider is providing the services okay suppose that in ABC company user 192.168.1.1 this user wanted to go outside for accessing Google services just consider he need a Google service at the same time he also requested to the service provider for the Google service Means what happened First of all, this guy, ABC company, first user 192.168.1.1, he went to the service provider, he went to the service provider, he asked him for the Google services. At the same time, XYZ company's 192.168.1.1 user, he 
he went to the service provider and asked for the Google service. Now, if I now we are going to talk about ISP. ISP might get confused. ISP is thinking he is getting request from 192.168.1.1 at a two time. He is thinking the single person asking a request for two times. He is thinking like that because he don't know. Because he is only he he thinks because IP address is the same because single IP address is coming, but request is two coming. There are two requests is coming from ISP side. So ISP might get confused. ISP is thinking. So I will provide Google services to this way. So ABC companies getting Google service means this user 192.168.1.1. This guy is getting a Google service. But XYZ company. He will ask ISP. We also requested. I also requested for Google services. Why didn't you provide? So ISP will say. Uh, ISP will not give the answer for that because what happened? Because ISP is thinking he is getting only one request. So in this situation, if I'm not nowadays, I'm talking now. I'm talking about ABC and XYZ company. There might be many companies. Like I'm talking about only two companies. Might be is there few 40, 50 companies. And they are using the same private IP address. That is a complete free, so anybody can use it. So this kind of the situation will happen because if there is no private IP, public IP address, there is no netting. So after that, there is a case netting came to the picture. So what is the use of netting? Netting in the sense the public IP address translate into the sorry private IP address translate into the public IP address. Same here translate into the public IP address. So now ABC company and XYZ company decided to buy one public IP address. So ABC company decided they are going to buy one public IP address. Just consider I am giving random IP address, okay? 10.1.1.1. Just consider this is public IP address. Example purpose, okay? So here another public IP address 20.1.1. I know these are the private. So I, this one is private IP address I am using, but just example purpose I am taking. Okay, just consider 10.1.1.1. This IP address bought by I, A, ABC company and 20.1.1.1. This com, this IP address bought by XYZ company. Now they are having their own IP address. In case ABC companies 1.1.1 uh, 192.168.1.1, this user wanted to take service from service provider as a Google service. So he will go to this router, okay? So what this router will do? Will configure netting on this router. So what this he will router do? Any request coming from the private IP address, he will translate this to the public IP address. What is his public IP address? Is 10.1.1.1, and he will send his request with the help of this IP address towards ISP. Same thing, it will be happen here in XYZ company. Any request will come from the private IP address, it will translate to the public IP address. What is public IP address? This is 20.1.1.1, and it will translate to the ISP towards ISP. So now ISP is getting request from two IP addresses, 10.1.1.1, and the second one is 20.1.1.1. Now he will think there is a two different users who is asking me for the Google service or any another services. So he will send his reply message to here as well as here because. It will see public IP address is a global IP address that is a unique X Y Z company he bought this IP address so this IP address register only on X Y Z company's name same here 10.1.1.1 this IP address registered on A B C company's name so now there is a like in previous session we already seen a before netting if there is a multiple IP address like 192.168.1.1 A B C company and X Y Z company. Went towards ISP. ISP get confused. Okay, but here in this situation he won't get confused because nowadays XYZ and ABC company they went towards ISP with the help of public IP address. Okay, I hope you got it. So NAT is a method translation of private IP address into the public IP address. Next thing, in order to communicate with the internet, we must have a public IP address. Without public IP address, we cannot do anything in netting. So we must have a public IP address. For netting, we have clarity about the private IP address and the public IP address. Okay, see so now what happened? I use I use one IP address like 10.1.1.1 IP address. 
that is my private IP address. I use this IP address just for example purpose. Okay. So I'm just giving for the example purpose. Okay. Now here is a private IP address ranges class A, class B, class C, and class D. You just pause this video here and you just wrote it down this range. Okay. Because you need to know which IP address you are having in free of cost and what are the IP address you have to pay for this. Okay. That is a public IP address. So now there are three types of netting static dynamic and the petting pet port address translation these are the three types of the netting where we are we can perform okay so this is all about the netting i just give the brief, uh, small introduction about this okay in future if i get the time definitely i will explain i will do some practical i will explain you in very depth way how exactly working what are the configuration we need to do what are the configuration we have to perform on router 1 and router 2 same as xyz company and abc company so thank you so much hope you like it thank you so much